Today we're looking at Julius Caesar. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer World History. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com where you'll find more resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. Julius Caesar was an extraordinary figure in the history of ancient Rome. Caesar rose to become one of the most powerful leaders of his time. His life was filled with remarkable achievements and dramatic events that shaped the course of Roman history. Gaius Julius Caesar was born on or near to July 12, 100 BC in the city of Rome to his father, also named Gaius Julius Caesar, and his mother, Aurelia Coda. Caesar's family was a prominent family in Rome of the patrician social class, and Caesar's uncle, Gaius Marius, was a famous general and had served as a consul of Rome. From a young age, he showed great intelligence and ambition. He received a good education and was trained in the art of debate and oration, or in other words, giving formal speeches. These skills would serve him well in his political career. In 84 BC, when Caesar was 16 years old, his father died, leaving him as the head of his family, and in the same year he married a young girl by the name of Cornelia, and together they would have one child. Shortly after, Caesar joined the military and left Rome, gaining prominence for his bravery during the siege of Mytilene off the coast of present-day Turkey in 80 BC. Caesar returned to Rome, where his political career began to grow, as he was elected to several important offices within the Roman government. In 69 BC, his wife Cornelia died. Then two years later, he married a woman named Pompeia, who was the granddaughter of a political rival. The marriage helped Caesar gain even more political position, but just a few years later they divorced. In 61 BC he became the governor over Spain, and by 59 BC he was elected consul of Rome, one of two men within the Roman Republic that were to oversee the operations of the entire government and the military. Also in 59 BC, Caesar married a teenage girl named Calpurnia, who would remain his wife through his death. During this time, Caesar formed a strong alliance with two other Roman politicians, Pompey, who served as another consul, and Crassus, considered to be the wealthiest man in Rome. Together, they formed what became known as the First Triumphant, with their combined political power ruling over Rome. Shortly after, in 58 BC, Caesar was appointed the governor of the region of Gaul, basically present-day France. He then led a military campaign to push further beyond Gaul into areas controlled by various Germanic tribes. During the Gaelic Wars, Caesar led Roman legions to victory, crossed the English Channel into present-day Britain, and even had a wooden bridge constructed across the Rhine River on which his armies could march into Germany. However, at home in Rome, the government was in turmoil where the Senate, the governing body of Rome, was deeply divided and there was widespread corruption and unrest. Caesar's ally, Crassus, died and Pompey aligned himself with opponents of Caesar. Caesar was ordered not to cross the Rubicon River back into Italy, but in January of 49 BC, he did just that, sparking a civil war in Rome. Caesar pushed Pompey and his forces all the way back to Egypt, where Pompey was assassinated. While in Egypt, Caesar had an affair with the Egyptian ruler Cleopatra, and together they had a son. Over the next few years, Caesar eliminated many of his opponents and any supporters of Pompey before returning to Rome. There, in 46 BC, he was declared dictator for the next ten years. Then, two years later, he took it a step further, declaring himself dictator for life. As dictator, Caesar implemented a series of reforms aimed at improving the lives of ordinary Romans. He reduced taxes, provided land for the poor, and reformed the calendar. However, his growing power and popularity also made him many enemies. On the Ides of March, or March 15th of 44 BC, a group of senators led by Marcus Brutus and Gaius Cassius conspired to assassinate Caesar. They feared that he had become too powerful and that he posed a threat to the Republic. On that fateful day, Caesar was stabbed by a large group of senators 23 times in the Senate chamber. Caesar died there on the Senate floor at the age of 55. 
Caesar's assassination plunged Rome into chaos once again. The power vacuum left by his death led to a series of civil wars and eventually the rise of the Roman Empire under Caesar's grandnephew Octavian, who would later be known as the first emperor and take on the name Caesar Augustus. The name Caesar became an imperial title, as many of Rome's later rulers would take on that name. So, with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching.